Hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Pushkin. Today, I want to talk to you about something very, very special. Uh, that's Hesh, High Explosive Squash Head. It's uh, around synonymous with the British line, and it's a very, very important factor if you want to continue loving that line. Now, before I go too deep in, let's talk about Hesh, baby, let's talk about you and me, what I want to really focus on is the reason why I find this such an endearing and interesting uh, style of ammo. And and indeed, why I think it's... Like, I get people all the time in games. This has happened to me twice in the last week where there have been people playing the Centurion 7 and 1 and they've said in-game... This is a trash tank, and they've whinged about having to grind it. And I think that's crazy. I think this is one of the best best tanks in the game. I love it. Love it to bits. And there is a reason more beyond the performance of the vehicle that I really love it. And if you've been playing for a long time, like I have, you'll know that it can become a little bit stale. Uh, you know, firing the same round all the time is a little bit stale. Having a tank like the 701 or the FV4202 or the 215B 183, the kind of tanks that use this high explosive round, and it's not limited to the British rounds either. There is a, uh, a very nice high explosive plastic shell on the RU251, which you can use. And there are various other tanks that have this. Um, but it's prevalent here. And having something different keeps me interested it it makes it interesting and it raises the skill set ceiling skill set ceiling is quite simple because when you are firing you have to make a decision and there's a skill in figuring out what you should be using in terms of a round do you use apcr or do you use high explosive squash head do you use uh the cheap hash or the expensive hash and all those kind of things they come into it the 701 is really the first time that I ever got a hold of this round type. And it's something that I loved because there's a lot going on with this tank. It's a gun depression medium that's quite slow. It's a gun depression medium that has no hull armor. It's a gun depression medium that sees tier 10s and has to compete while having only, you know, a top end 260 odd millimeter of pen uh, APCR route. So you've got to be able to really work some magic with this vehicle. And before you can, you have to understand Hesh. Now, what's, what's the big deal here with Hesh? What's it all about? Well, I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Uh, the Hesh round, the premium Hesh round that we're talking about here is a 210 millimeter pen Hesh round. Now, you might find that an interesting number because it's actually the same number as the Hesh round on the FV4202, also 210 millimeters of pen. Uh, and not surprisingly, that is also the same number on the FV215B183, otherwise known as the Death Star. Uh, it has also has a 210 millimeter hash round. Sorry, not 210, 220 millimeter hash round. And that's the TD variant, right? The premium hash. What what really uh, what really sets this round apart is that for all that it's called high explosive, it is not really the same as high explosive. It doesn't. You will bounce hash rounds, okay? And you will you. High explosives is a funny bugger, and the mechanics of it, they're not really exact as far as I understand them. Uh, they, the theory behind high explosive in, in Mortal Tank Splits is you hit a target, and if you don't pen that target, it will splash. Now, I don't have the dimensions of that splash, but the splash will then push out, and as it goes over distance, that splash loses damage. So say at point of impact, there is 100 damage. As you move out from that point of impact, it goes 99, 98, 97, 96, until you get far enough away that it still doesn't pen and it evaporates. And then you only do very limited amount of damage there. And it doesn't really ever seem to evaporate. You do seem to do damage and you can splash. And that's why if you've got like a target that's on one hit point and you've got a 150 millimeter gun, you hit him with HE, you know he's gonna go down. The caveat to that is if the HE round will hit a module, for instance, uh, then the damage of the HE round will go into that module. And this is brutal when you've got 
Think of how many times have you fired a HE round at a grill or a waffle tractor or a Borsig and it's hit the gun and you've done no damage. Because that means that the round is actually hitting the gun so far away from the actual superstructure of the tank that the chassis, it, it's doing nothing. It's not even doing any damage. The module of the gun absorbs, you break the gun, they repair the gun and you do no damage and the gun is now looking at you ready to roll. Hesh is kind of the same except it seems to bounce more. Um, it will splash, but it doesn't seem to splash the same way uh, as, at least, as a, as a big TD round does. And that's that's not really surprising because the hedge that we're talking about here on mediums like the FE4202 and the Centurion 701 is a 105 millimeter hesh round out of the L7A1. Now, that 105 millimeter hesh round isn't going to have the same... Uh, the same kind of splash efficiency that you're going to get out of a 150 millimeter or 183 millimeter gun that fires a HE round because that has a much bigger shell type and a much bigger impact radius. But for all that, I bounce a lot more HE uh, shots, HES shots in this tank than I do in other tanks. The other thing is you can see there I'm using an APCR round despite having side shots on that Chieftain because HE or HESH if it hits things like fences uh, or things that you can break, it will break on those and won't do any damage. So just things of interest to know about HESH and, uh, and its many many variants. So you can imagine this is a round that can be quite confusing for a newer player it's in fact one of the reasons why wargaming has really struggled to get this right like there's there are times when they've changed so many things on the uh scent and the fe4202 so you've got to be one good at shell switching because shell switching is everything in this tank if you don't shell switch you won't maximize your damage and to give you an idea on how important that is i'm going to tell you the numbers right now the FE4202's base damage is 3,281 with an APCR shell. If you can fire the FE4202 with HESH rounds into a HESH target, your DPM goes up forth to 4,124. That is not a mistake. The DPM of the 215B183, the Death Star, goes from 3,011 firing standard rounds to 4,209 firing HESH. And those are the kind of numbers that are quite literally the top of the tree for Blitz. They're like They... You've got to go to a tank like the SU-12254, which I believe is still the leader, number one, in terms of DPM, realistic DPM, um, with an AP round to to beat out those numbers. And yet they're turreted TDs and turreted mediums and mobility and all that. And for a tank like the Centurion 701, the difference is very marked. For 2,544 DPM is like the lowest DPM tier 9 medium. And it becomes a 3200 dpm medium when you factor in a hash round it's also one of the reasons why a lot of people will run calibrated shells on hash tanks because calibrated shells allows you to pen more often and you have such a lovely dose of alpha that you can play this as a trading tank and that's something hash rounds allow you to do. Any round like that, even with a, an RU251 or a Bavarian Bulldog, where they're running the high explosive shell with a... Uh, I mean, hash isn't just on the mediums too. You, you've got to remember the, the, the 215B and the Conqueror have hash rounds um, on their... You know, they've got like 120 millimeters of HE pen on heavy tanks, which is not to be scoffed at. And once you get good at using these things, you can hit the sides of, of certain heavy tanks above the track line. I mentioned that in my T30 video the other day and do massive damage. So there is so much more to this round type than people really understand. And there is so much more to the gameplay style when you're driving a tank like that. If you're driving a tier 10 heavy, you're generally a low, a low DPM, uh, a tier nine heavy, you're generally a, a low DPM tank, but you're able to make 460 alpha trades, a lot of them. So what you do is you only come out when you have one in the pipe. It's called peekaboom. It's... Uh, as old as time, uh, you peek a boom. So when you roll out, you do big damage, and then you pull back. And that nullifies opposition DPM. So they might have a really high DPM on a 300 alpha round. Well, you're trading 300 alpha versus 460 alpha. 
enter a medium tank like the scent, you can make trades like a heavy. So you can pop out, and when you pop out, you're firing off a round that does 440 base alpha. And if you have a lot of tanks against you and you only have time to pop out and fire and then pull straight back round, this is an amazing vehicle for this. Your DPM is through the roof. And indeed, your play style is through the roof. And Hesh makes that possible. And it's one of the reasons why you should probably learn to play a tank like this. Because if you can play the Sense 7 and 1, it will make you a better player. Being able to play this tank well will make you a better player. Being able to play the FV4202 well will make you a better player. And it gives you a skill ceiling that doesn't exist on just a standard AP slash heat combo. It's very, very interesting to play that. And it's a lot more fun for me when I've been playing for this many years to, like five years, to be able to jump in a tank like this and it's different to 90% of the other vehicles in the game. I'm Bushka, thank you so much for being part of my community. Thank you so much for playing Blitz. And thank you so much for uh, watching my videos. It still humbles me after all this time that you guys um, turn up. There's a comp going on at the moment. Join my Discord server. Um, if you do the most damage in an AT7 over the next uh, couple of weeks, I'm going to be looking at replays. Then I will give you a Cromwell B, a Panzer, whatever Schmaltzberger that thing is, and an AC Sentinel in one combo, as well as 2,100 gold and 15 days of premium time. You've just got to send an email of your highest damage in an AT7 using the auto-loading gun, the stock auto-loader. Uh, send that email to bushkagaming at gmail.com bushkagaming at gmail.com including the screenshot and the replay uh, and that's pretty important uh, because if you don't include the screenshot I'm not even going to know to look at the replay and if you don't include the replay then I can't check out that the screenshot's legit so look after yourselves boys and girls and until next time uh, stay safe on Z battlefield and just be nice to each other hey a lot of toxicity out there in the world at the moment guys uh, everyone's just a human doing their best remember that when you're struggling to uh, to be nice. <laughs> God, I struggle to be nice every day. Oh, I wish I had have, uh, I wish I had have done better here. But I didn't. I didn't do better. I didn't do well enough. I had it. It was in the palm of my hand.